how to add your bank account to Shopify simple tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about adding our bank account to our Shopify in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And it's gonna be a really fun and really straightforward tutorial. So just make sure to watch this fully till the end so you can get the full concept and gist of this. So to start things off, obviously you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the bank providers that you have are correlated and co-connected with your Shopify, right? And to actually check that, we're gonna to need to go into our settings, right? So to go into our settings, what you're gonna do, obviously you're gonna come here in the bottom left. And once you come here into the bottom left, you're gonna go over to the payment section. And here is your payment section over here. Now there's different methods to add this, okay? So first of all, there's the payment providers, which is providers that enable you to accept payment methods at a rate set by the third party. So there's choose a provider, then there's supported payment methods. Payment methods that are available with one of Shopify's approved payment providers. And then there's manual payment method. So let's start from the bottom. So you have manual payment method, which has bank deposit. Okay, then you have supported payment methods, which has uh, different, uh, you know, providers. So you can search by payment method, like let's say I'm going to write bank, right? No bank will appear here because it gives you these uh, transferable banks, right? And it gives you banks that are actually aligned with your actual Shopify. And then you can also search by provider, like... Uh, let's say your bank has some separate provider over here that gives you all these cards. You can have that as well, but I'm just going to go with the payment method and uh, you're going to go into the other payment methods and go with the bank you have. Okay. So let's say I have a certain bank. Let's go with uh, any bank that they give us. Let's go with the CIMB bank, right? So you're going to go with CIMB bank and it gives you the four providers that actually give you this type of bank. So you're going to go with any provider that like they all have 0% transaction fee, which is pretty incredible. And then go with a provider that gives you more options for payments. So, you know, you can add through CIMB bank, Visa, MasterCard. So let's go with this faster pay. Okay. So once you do this, here it says account status. You are not currently connected. Click connect to actually connect you know, connect your CIMB bank to FastPay. So we're going to click on connect. And once you click on connect, it takes you to the loading central where it's going to give you the option to connect a provider to your store. So I'm just going to wait for it to load in real quick. And uh, as things load in, what uh, is going to happen from here is that you can connect it to FasterPay or you can provide your webhook secret key. Now, to connect to FasterPay, it's going to open up a whole dashboard where it's going to authorize a login section. So you are going to want to make sure to create an account with FasterPay. Once you create an account with FasterPay, you're simply going to link your bank account, add your details. It's going to take like a few hours to verify everything. And from there, that's how you can add a payment method through this. Now, you can now also choose a provider over here that gives your bank technically. So you know, you could, uh, let's say I'm just going to write bank over here. And once you write bank, it should give you different providers that provide that certain bank for you. So as you can see, you have Mesa bank over here, you have JCB bank, uh, and all these different banks for different providers. You can choose these as well, but the best method that I found the most efficient method that I found is payment method. So payment methods, these are made outside your online store. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to click on bank deposit. Now over here, just simply what you're going to do is you're going to add the details of your bank. Okay. You're going to tell the people that, Hey, this is my bank. Obviously this would be a bit of a hassle because people would have to like go to their PayPal or, you know, bank provider and then transfer to your bank. But this is one of the best ways to, you know, actually add a bank account to your Shopify. It uh, isn't a hassle for you, but it is a hassle for the customer. So if you're more on the uh, satisfactory side for the customer, then I would recommend just going with the supported payment method and adding a bank because in that way, obviously it will be a hassle for you in the start, but later on, you're going to be getting payment straight into your bank and uh, the actual customer that's going to be sending those payments will be sending it through the store. 
So let's say I'm going to, you know, add the details and then I'm going to give them the payment instructions. You know, I'm going to tell them the bank. I'm going to tell them the code or where they're going to send everything. And once you write all of that, you're going to click on activate bank deposit. OK, add your necessary details. And here it says bank deposit is activated. Now, when someone actually goes ahead and uh, buys something off of your store, like uh, let me give you an example. I'm going to come to my online store over here just for a test gateway, you know, just to test if things actually work. I'm going to go into this product, let's say I'm going to click on add to cart. And once you click on add to cart, what's going to happen? There we go. So we're going to click on checkout now. And once you click on checkout, basically from there on out, what's going to happen is people are going to get a payment. You could say a widget where they're going to be given the details that I just entered that, hey, you're going to need to um, send this payment to my bank details. And then obviously you, you will have your bank details provided so people can get a uh, idea of where they're actually going to send the details to. Right. So, you know, it's really simple to get a hold of this. It's really simple to get a basic understanding of all of this. Right. So simply start all those necessary things. And again, if you don't want to go with the hassle, simply go into your supported payment methods and uh, choose any uh, bank of yours, you know, could be Bank of America or, you know, any bank providers that you have. Like, let's say I'm going to go with um, some uh, American Express as well, or you can go with Chase Bank. You know, if it doesn't give you Chase Bank, you can obviously go ahead with any other bank you have. You can go with these Thanachart banks. Once you do that, it gives you the providers. Again, click on it install the providers and then create an account with the provider and then simply connect your account. One more way that you can do this, which is a pretty well off way is by choosing Pioneer as your provider, right? Now, Pioneer is a very, uh, you could say, well known provider. And uh, Pioneer basically gives you the privileges of uh, adding a bank account. So basically, if you write Pioneer Checkout, people are obviously going to pay through their Visa, MasterCard or American Express card. But if you create an account on Pioneer, like I have an account on Pioneer, you can connect your bank account to Pioneer. And once people pay you, your proceedings or the money that they send you will go straight to your Pioneer account. And from there, you can just withdraw it to your bank. And that's one of the easiest and best ways you can you know, actually get money to your bank account. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, i hope you all have a great day so until next time i'll see you later and goodbye